Ah, uh, will you let you? I will let you in on a little secret. Playing a bass instrument, tenor instrument, like bass trumpet. This is a entry level bass trumpet. And a high press, like a trumpet. You can. Even a slight trombone and trumpet, you can. There are cases of people who have been playing both successfully. So why people do not do that? Just because you're not required to. But if you play the saxophone, and you, many people play the saxophone and clarinet, which I even have different technique, while these two instruments have the same technique. You could say, uh, and trombone's uh, music is written in a different way. Why? I think there is, I mean, conspiracy theories, there is a clear idea in do not let people easily switch from one instrument to the other. Trombone is tuned like a trumpet, but um, call notes for what they are, B flat calls is B flat, trumpet call is C. Uh, uh, um, trombone music is written in a bass clef which doesn't make any sense because it's not a bass so you have a lot of ledgers uh, it's difficult to read basically you discourage people from playing both instruments uh, it could make sense in the past because in the um, people were not required in marching bands in a uh, symphony orchestras but nowadays, there's not a lot of money going around when you play live. Uh, and the whole evening listening to the trumpet, or the bass trumpet for that matter, can be boring. You say, but if you play one, you cannot play the other one. It's just a matter of time. What does it mean? Uh, this idea that playing one detracts from the, the other one. I mean. Um, I don't think so. Obviously, if you specialize, but even uh, on a high level, I, I used to run a lot. Even people who run 5,000 meters, uh, sometimes they run 10,000 meters, so 1,500 meters. It's useful, okay? So, um, I cannot play the trumpet whole day, so sometimes I play this, uh, or I even play the French horn. Does it detract from the way? No, at all. Uh, why? If I had only one hour a day, i probably play just the trumpet, or the cornet, which is almost the same. But I even play something in the middle, which is an instrument E flat, like the alto trombone or the F tuned uh, mellophonium. Uh, but I'll tell you, when you first start playing both, one after the other, it's tricky. I know it's tricky, it's even tricky now, less than before. It's difficult. You get used to anything. Okay? So I'd say you can specialize. For example, I play more high, but I still can play this. The important is not, not letting, neglecting it for a long time. Okay? For example, the fact that I play the trumpet and the trumpet trombone or a B-flat trumpet, the bass trumpet, when I use an E-flat instrument, oh, I feel at ease. I can go high and play high pitch notes better than both of these, which I play mostly. But being in the middle, obviously E-flat uh, partials can be a problem. So I'd say don't be discouraged by hearsay, uh, by kind of fake, I wouldn't say news, 
fake old news about it's impossible. It is possible. There is an Australian trumpeter called Morrison, I forget his name, he played both equally well. Oh, but he is... No, he's a person like we are. Um, obviously, there is a, some extra work if you play in a, a trombone, a slight trombone. Yeah, there is some... Ex that's why I don't play uh, well. I more focus now on the alto trombone. Uh, for some reason, I like weird things. This is weird, the alto is weird. Uh, I have a C valve trombone, which is weird. I have the mellophonium, which is the weirdest of the weird instrument, oddest of the odd. Uh, but in a way, they're not weird. Uh, the only instrument that is kind of yes, the two difficult for me is kind of the, the mellophonium and the, the the C B flat single horn I have. Um, that's kind of difficult. Uh, it's difficult because I should play it. Uh, the secret is mm, play as often as you can. Not long sessions, but okay, it's like languages. Um, so I want to say this because I see a lot of my personal experience is that playing both helps me psychologically you tend to play one of the two more it depends also the period there are periods where I play more the cornet but the cornet and trumpet are very similar but uh, I found, for some reason, I'm better. My lips, I don't know for what, for what is the reason why I I'm more at ease with the low instruments. That's why I play this more to compensate. Um, now my goal is to be able to move from one to the other, even. Uh, fast. Uh, when I play live, I tell you I like both. I really like both. Sometimes I like Bob Rockmayer. I listen also to slide trombone players. Uh, I like both, high and low, um, medium low because it's not extremely low. It's not a bass trombone. It's not a tuba. Um, you need to uh, what is the right word make your lips adjust to both get used to both okay um mouthpieces okay that's what I think so if you play jazz if play I don't know whatever uh, pop popular music you play you not tr that kind of perfect intonation perfection uh, I don't say you shouldn't play well but that extreme attention to perfection is not in other genres of music so you can play both uh, I'd say that that allows me to play more time so technically I can play valves and what I learn technically or one instrument goes on the other instrument as far as the tune in B flat and on E flat or F. Um, so that's why I can play both because I 
didn't buy the thing that you cannot play both. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy that tell you you cannot play both. So when you have a problem with one of the two, you surely bound to have problems. You say, ah, because it's not possible. No, just because it's difficult. Obviously, I'd say, like running, there are periods where you focus, focus on maybe on one. Okay, uh, for example, I, I need to play, I don't know, high pitch notes, I practice more this uh, than this, I get something, I lose something on this or vice versa. Then I go back and uh, I practice and there. For example, I speak English right now, but I also speak Italian. How can I do both? And English and Italian are further removed from each other than trumpet and bass trumpet. Just because I'm exposed to both languages on a daily basis, I speak both languages, and if I make a mistake, I don't chalk it to the fact that I speak the other language. Um, surely I make more mistakes in English than in Italian, but it happens from time. Everybody makes mistakes, even in their own native language. Um, and I always strive for perfection. So I can. I also speak more than Greek. So some people speak more, 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 more. I I I play uh, the ukulele guitars, but. They don't affect this only um, in terms of time, but there is this idea that playing one is detrimental to playing the other one. No. You know what is detrimental? Neglecting an instrument. You can neglect uh, the trumpet, not because you play the bass trumpet or the trombone, just because you neglect it. So let's say there can be days where you have no, you don't feel like playing the trumpet, you don't feel like playing the trombone. And you don't play the trumpet, you play the trombone, or I play uh, the euphonium, or I play even the, the French horn. That's my um, N, and I can Obviously, I don't read trombone sheet music, uh, so I will never play in a marching band or in a jazz big band. I can play the trumpet, but I don't care. In a pinch, I write, <laughs> I transpose and write music so I can read the first sight. I don't read the first sight. <laughs> I read songs for sight because I already know the song. I have to study a lot. I'm more of a improviser. That doesn't mean I shouldn't. I cannot read music to save my life. I don't read music like a classically trained trumpet or trombone player. Uh, like they cannot improvise, uh, for that matter, the way I do. Um, It's like I have two children, or a father and a mother. Okay, who do you like more? You don't like who do you love better? Doesn't make any sense. Some people want you. Don't judge me by the fact that I play the trombone. Ah, if you play the trombone, him, he that cannot play the trumpet. Judge the way I play the trumpet. But the way I play the trumpet, and not because you know that I also play the trombone. It has happened to me that I play the trumpet better than people that just play the trumpet and don't play the trombone. Uh, this is almost like the trombone above the trombone. So, I know people will not agree with me. But I tell you, obviously, obviously, many people specializes 
playing the um, playing the trumpet because you d you have to memorize a lot. It's easier if you are playing if uh, you can make a living just playing one instrument. You're not particularly interested in playing another one. Okay, but. If the market requires you to be able to do that, you do that. If you live in a country where you have two official languages and you're required to speak both, you speak both. And you can speak both equally well. Um, so I'd say, don't be scared. You've been told that you cannot play the trombone if you play the trump, it's difficult, you're going to um lose your technique on on the your on your first instrument so when you uh have problems at the beginning you always have problems i have major problems even playing a song taking a break two or three minutes and playing the the other song on the trombone or on the trumpet i had problems what did i say no it's not possible no i i thought I told myself, I'm just not ready. It takes time. Now, I'm one of the few here in Rome, I don't know, that in this circle of people I know, surely there are people much better than I am on both instruments. But generally speaking, I don't ran across many people who can play both. I, many people play the saxophone uh, and uh, the same goes for the ukulele, the guitar. Uh, you can play both. Obviously, this is a slight difference. Uh, you don't have this mouse problem, but uh, chords on a four string instrument and a six string instrument are different. <clears throat> For example, I devote put into more hours playing the ukulele than the guitar, and I say, okay, I've been neglecting the guitar, so I have to play uh, some guitars, uh, some guitar songs. I also play different sizes of ukulele, and I practice on every. Uh, size. I read my. I do my exercise on an alto or on a tenor. This is this called. It's called concert. I call it alto. Obviously, I have time on my hands. I don't. If you don't have a lot of time, just stick to one kind of instrument. Okay. That's it. This is what I wanted to say, because I hear a lot of mumbo jumbo. You know, we played the trombone. Da, 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 no, no, you can't play both. Uh, you have enough time. But the gist is that playing one instrument doesn't necessarily mean that you're losing something. S sometimes it's just the opposite. I found myself that I improved a lot playing both instruments. <laughs>